Hey everyone, so we are back with a new uh, release of AIO test, which has some exciting new features and a lot of enhancements. Uh, so let's jump right into it and see some of these in action. So the first one that I want to talk about is the ability for the admins uh, to see the draft cases of other users. This icon has been introduced, which is only going to be visible for the Jira admins, the project admins, or any AIO admins created through project settings. If you like, you can see right now, there are 735 cases in my view, but if I turn this on, the view changes to uh, 1046 cases, which means I am able to see the draft cases that have been created by other users. This allows you uh, dra admins to, you know, do any kind of analysis or uh, take actions on draft cases of users, uh, of other users. <clears throat> the next one that I wanna talk about is the automation status. Uh, we have added the ability to uh, add new automation statuses or reorder them or edit them. It has been added as an option under project settings. Uh, in the left panel, you can see the automation statuses here. The next one is that we have introduced a new tab called effects for more visibility into the traceability of a issue in Jira. So going forward, you would see this tab uh, where all the defects associated with the story would be listed. Associated with the execution of the cases of the story would be listed here. So this in enhances the traceability visibility of this issue. The next one that is again on defects, there is a new report called defect trend report, which will take cycles in the input and show you the created versus resolved status of the defects that have been found in the cycles. You can also see the trend of the unresolved defects along with the detailed table. <clears throat> Last, from a new feature perspective, but not the least, is the ability to define parameters for your cases at a project level. So far, you could uh, define parameters only at the case level, but with this release under manage cases, we have this option called predefined parameters. If you click on it, you'll be able to create parameters at a project level and then reuse it across your cases. You can click on this icon to create new parameters, give it parameter values, and then reuse it for your cases. Once it is, has been created, you'll be able to edit it, add new values, remove values, and sync it across the cases that are using these parameters. Every time a sync job is uh, created, uh, it will be in the jobs uh, tab where you'll be able to see uh, details once it is in the completed status. From an uh, enhancements perspective um, and to increase the usability uh, and you know of the execution tab, what we have done is you'll be able now to delete the latest run if it is not the only run in the cycle for that case. So now the delete icon is available on both the runs. If there is only one run, of course, you cannot delete it. In addition to that, we have introduced auto save for actual results. Also actual results box is now editable just by clicking on it. And you can enter details like let's say login failed, right? And it will, if you click anywhere else, it will be auto saved. We have also added uh, an icon, if you just want to say works as expected, instead of writing it, you can simply click on it and uh, it will be populated. So these are some of the enhancements that ha have been introduced. Uh, as always, you know, do check out these new features and enhancements and we are here to support you. So you can have check out more details in our release notes uh, or contact us if you have any questions about anything. Thank you so much.